The world's first brain surgery on a baby in the womb. A team of doctors from Boston successfully conducted a novel fetal brain surgery in the womb. The surgeons decided to intervention to treat a rare disease known as vein malformation Galen. This is the first operation of this type in the world. Success of American doctors that gives new hope for the treatment of children with severe developmental defects. For the first time, doctors surgically corrected the defective ones a blood vessel in the baby's brain while it was still in the mother's womb. Childbirth it took place in mid-March, the girl had been released from the hospital for several years weeks later and since then, she has not required any medications or anything else treatments. The first time I heard her cry, it was just. I'm speechless to describe how I felt then says the girl's mother Kenyatta Coleman of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It was the most beautiful moment, when I could take her in my arms, look at her and then hear her crying a woman in an interview with CNN ads. In a publication published in Stroke Scientists described in detail the procedure that was used in the framework ongoing clinical trials. They are aimed at finding a new way treatment of Galen's vein malformation BOGM, a rare disease that affects blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the brain. Galen's vein malformation causes arteries in the brain to fail they connect to capillaries, which help slow blood flow. Instead, the arteries drain blood into the veins at the base of the brain where it flows she is under high pressure. This can lead to heart failure, pulmonary hypertension, damage, and loss of brain tissue or hydrocephalus. According to estimates by the American Heart Association, AHA, BOGM it is diagnosed in 1 in 60,000 fetuses. Standard treatment after birth is on blocking the connections of arteries with veins within the malformation. However, the procedure this often did not reverse fetal heart lesions or prevent impairment or life-threatening brain damage. Doctors from Boston Children's Hospital and Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston is conducting research to help with earlier research treatment of VOGM when the baby is still in the mother's womb. The new procedure assumes performing fetal surgery to reduce aggressive blood flow. In total, approximately 20 children are expected to undergo innovative surgery. Kenyatta Coleman's daughter was first. In the first treated case we were delighted effects. Symptoms usually occurring after the birth of children with BOGM simply occur they did not appear says the main author of the report, Professor Darren Orbach from AHA, Vice Director of the Cerebrovascular Surgery and Intervention Center in Boston Children's Hospital. We are pleased to announce that at the age of six weeks the baby is doing extremely well. He is not taking any medications, he is eating normally, he gains weight and is back at home. There are no signs of negative the impact of the disease on the brain emphasizes Orbach. Scientists used a technique called embolization under ultrasound control. Kenyatta Coleman and her daughter underwent the procedure in 34 weeks of pregnancy. VOGM was diagnosed in the fetus just after an ultrasound examination at 30 week. After the procedure, the mother was noticed leaking amniotic fluid, so doctors decided to induce labor two days later. The newborn did not require it no cardiovascular support or postnatal surgery. He was, however monitored in the intensive care unit for several weeks. It is important that we continue testing. We have to evaluate safety and effectiveness of the procedure in other patients says Professor Orbach. Our research may change the approach to the treatment of Galen's vein malformation. We want to repair the defect before birth and prevent failure hearts, 
not trying to reverse it after birth explains the scientist.
Thank mm-hmm. you.